What is it? <laughs> I don't know, Doctor. It just arrived for you. Greetings, fellow Simmer, and welcome to more 4K Eye Candy action with me, Gripper Sim. Uh, now, we're t- today we're talking about the Caranado uh, uh, C337 Skymaster. This is a very old aircraft. This was built before I was even born. Uh, and as you can, as you will see, uh, it's got a real weird engine configuration, one in front of the other. Uh, yeah, it, very strange. So back in the day, okay, uh, it was burdened with a great deal of derogatory terms. Yeah, this is true, I looked it up. Such permutations include Sky Trash, Sky Mash, Mix Master, other fun variants such as Push Me Pull You. It's a Push Me Pull You, look. Holy O'Reilly, forgive me. Yeah, I'm telling you. Suck and blow, and many other making fun of its centerline engine configuration. Most of this unmannered, uncivil behaviour came from traditional twin engine pilots, such as maybe myself. I think I would have actually been on that team. Yeah, Uh, anyway, the aircraft was designed in this way, right? One of the reasons it was designed in this way was to introduce docile engine out handling. You know, no more dead leg, dead engine chant here. So uh, in order to explain it, uh, if one engine, if you think of the traditional engines as one on each side of the wing, when one fails, the other one will pull the aircraft to the right or to the left, and you'll get a yawing tendency, bringing you to very close to the stall and a very dangerous situation shortly after takeoff, okay? Uh, Now, with this one, you have to look very carefully at the instruments to determine which engine has failed. Now, back in the day, there was a large amount of concern with regards to the instability of engine failure on traditional twins. But I think all was needed was a little bit of a little bit of training was required is all. Now, also, I I, just looking at it, the rear engine uh, takes an awful lot of space, as does the front engine. Uh, you know, and I think traditional twins are just fine. I, I think it's just, you need you need to be a bit of a pilot to fly a twin, don't you? All you do is nose down and keep it straight. Anyway, there's more to it than that. But anyway, uh, we never see these built anymore, but it does look very interesting. Let's now have a listen for the sounds of this aircraft, and we'll talk about the features after this very crosswindy, dangerous, odd takeoff. Yes. I think the sounds are quite realistic here in this particular aircraft. Now, Coronado, you always know what you're going to get. Okay, and it's always the same. Uh, it's not, uh, you know, the circuit breakers may not work, but who cares? It's a small engine aircraft. You don't need to play around the circuit breakers, really. And it's not big enough to be study level, really, is it? It's good enough. Uh, but, you know, you're not going to fly one of these in real life anymore anyway. Uh, but it comes with five liveries. It comes with the GNS 530. You can have the GTN 750 integration option, but you've got to buy it from uh, PMS50.com. That's on their website. Now, also, it has the weather radar on it. It has the KX Navcom radio, the typical ones we're used to. It has the custom ADF. It has all the transponders. Of course, it always has the little iPad there, so you can start cold and dark, ready to taxi, or ready to take off options, as well as uh, putting the pedo tubes and all that kind of stuff uh, the engine uh, wind sound effects work when you open and close the doors which is really very realistic and I really like that uh, it has realistic flight dy- dynamics compared to the real airplane but I found on my stream there last week uh, I couldn't get it out of a spin now is that me or is it just the aircraft I don't know I have to check that out but as you know Coronado they'll have an update in a few uh, a week or two later anyway if, if anyone complains about any things of course as you saw earlier it has physically based rendering PBR you know 4k textures and all that kind of stuff the sounds are recorded from the real thing as well so as usual for me i can't fault it i did go looking uh, and I, I you know it, it wouldn't come in. i couldn't get it out of a spin whether that's uh, because i had a rearward heavy center of gravity or not more than likely it was but i'll have a look into it again other than that it's carnado you can't go wrong let's have a look at my crazy crosswind landing
very interesting aircraft to land with uh, quite an aggressive 20 knot crosswind there. Uh, way beyond limits. Uh, it's it's just the way I, I just the way I roll. Uh, anyway, look, I stream on Twitch on YouTube as you probably already know. Uh, Twenty one hundred hours Irish UK time. That's nine o'clock in the evening, uh, and you know. Uh, we, hopefully we'll see you there now if you're on Microsoft Flight Simulator and you want to friend me in Microsoft Flight Simulator just look for Gripper Sim and I'll, I'll accept your request uh, and I'll see you uh, on the North European server at 2100 hours on, on Sunday yes uh, oh yeah yeah yeah. I don't, I don't know what it is it, it maybe it's the like button so I think you have to hit the like button do it now go on okay see ya bye 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 bye, bye. it's very cute are you pushing me buttons? are you pushing me buttons? oh obviously not